Dear learners, under research misconduct, we will discuss now the authorship. So our topic is authorship, what is the definition of authorship and different types of authorship. So now, author is one who is primarily responsible for the artistic content of a document. So, research report when it is published in a printed form or in digital form whatever may be the media. So, the responsible person who is responsible for this and he will be the author. So, authorship and contributors refers to the list of the authors who actually contributed to the work that has been carried out to result into a publication. So, authorship means the writer or contributor of any writing, literature or an art also. So, it refers to individual or groups that create an idea or develop the publication for disseminating of intellectual or creative work. So, this has many important academic, social and financial implication. There may be single or collaborative groups responsible for production of intellectual creation. So, we can say that author is a person or persons or corporate body responsible for writing or compilation of a book or other publication. The government or any society, a learned body, then association, academic institutions, research institutions, all these things come under the purview of corporate body. Because here no one is responsible for particular work. The, all the persons, those who are working in an organization, it may be a government organization, non-government organization, government affiliated organization or institutions, socially reputed organization. So, whatever may be the form of corporate body, they are all responsible for writing or compilation of a book or other publication that is given in Harold's Librarian's Glossary. So, author is one who is primarily responsible for an artistic content of a document. It is given in the Glossary of DV Decimal Classification, 19th edition, volume 1 made by Melville D.V. 1876. So, authorship is the characteristics of a person who has meaningful participation in the planning, designing and interpretation of the experiments and in the writings of papers. Then periodical publication here the contributors of research article refers to the authors who prepared the article and who has reported the article for publication. He will be taken granted as the author and some other joint authors may be there. So, authors are accountable for their published research work. So, UGC defines author in regulation entitled promotion of academic integrity and prevention of plagiarism in higher education institution regulation 2018. 
इट इज मेड बाई यू जी सी इंडिया एज ए स्टूडेंट और ए फैकल्टी और ए रिसर्चर और स्टाफ ऑफ हायर एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन हु क्लेम्स टू बी द क्रिएटर ऑफ दी वर्क अंडर कंसिडरेशन सो इट इज द फेयर एंड एक्सटेंसिव डेफिनेशन ऑफर्ड बाई यू जी सी द इंटरनेशनल कॉमिटी ऑफ मेडिकल जर्नल एडियर्स आई सी एम जे ई रिकमेंड्स फोर क्राइटेरिया डिफाइन फॉर ऑथरशिप द सबस्टेंशियल कंट्रीब्यूशन टू द कंसेप्शन और डिजाइन ऑफ द वर्क और द एक्विजिशन एनालिसिस एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ डेट ऑफ द वर्क सो वेन दिस एट्रीब्यूट्स will go to one so he will be taken granted as the author the another one the drafting of work or revising it critically for important intellectual content so this responsibility will come under the purview of authorship and the characteristic that is the final approval of the version of the published suppose some authors have written something and finally one expert or one teacher or one author or one person has properly find and a final appro approval is made by him and the version is then published then the person who has finally approved finally prepared this version can be termed as the author the agreement to be accountable for all aspects of the work in ensuring that questions related to the accuracy or integrity of any part of the work are appropriately investigated and resolved then the person will be taken granted as the author cof formulated the authorship for any document based on some characteristic in the preparation of manuscript do one or more characteristics that is writer should have to contribute substantial contribution or any design for the work collection organization interpretation of data during the period of study third characteristics analyzing concluding critically the data for valid presentation and for scholarly communication so all these will come under the purview of the author characteristics then another one important technical gatekeeper the important person the supervisor the great leader of technical activities or research laboratory is taken granted as the technical gatekeeper in case of professional activities editor the experienced supervisor a medical novel laureate you be taken granted as technical gatekeeper or the supreme supervisor is represented as first author followed by other scholars according to seniority they will be also come under the purview of authorship particular research scholars involved in the research process as well as communicator with the journal authority comes as first author followed by his supervisor the sequence of authorship pattern depends upon the culture and precedence of research institute who will printed in first and who will come later in order of sequence that depends upon the culture of an institute that depends upon the culture of esteemed behavior of the teaching community and therefore the authorship is authorship that is writing uh, right that is the uh, attributes of uh, authority of writing materials so that is the authorship 
and the presentation of the authors that depends upon the sequence or of authorship depends upon the culture and precedence of research institute academic institute the conventional approach or it may be changed that depends upon the value system of the society or that that depends upon the international standard or pattern what is followed and accordingly we also follow them so that it, the, the the pattern is not the most important the important is the contributorship that importance the intellectual participation in presenting the uh, publication and presenting the matter systematically so authorship is the most important thing in case of research publication here the authorship is the properly defined so five types of unaccepted authorship that is made by elsifer documents that ethics in research and publication that is the anonymous authorship so we can say that all person designated as author should be qualified for authorship and all those who qualified should be listed isn't it so but the type is that anonymous authorship should be very clear and explicit in nature that is complete name with conventional parts of naming the author name first name middle name and title etc the honorable name that will be placed in either earlier in or later on it may be doctorate etc but dsc it will be placed in uh, afterwards so should clearly alphabetized who is accountable for the published work the pseudonym or any fictitious symbol either in abbreviation or numerical form of anonymous authorship is not at all acceptable so anonymous authorship or pseudonymous authorship cannot be given in times of uh, publication so it will be completely fair conventional naming system to be followed so that the clear name of the author can be identified as an author then the ghost authorship <laughs> it is an important authorship eh? authorship has contributed substantially in writing the research manuscript name is not mentioned in the author place explicitly authors have not acknowledged their contribution either in preface or in acknowledgement areas name is not mentioned in the author's place for this reason they are termed as a ghost author then guest authorship refers to senior authors who are included because of their respect or influence in the hope that this will increase the likelihood of publication or impact of paper once published that is given by harvey in 2018 then gift authorship refers to the practice of offering authorship to a senior or junior colleague in a blatant or subtleptious hope that they will return in favor and they will included in the list of co-author though they have no significant contribution in that particular body it is also defined by harvey in 2018 and then honorary authorship is there and surrogate authorship is there in case of honorary authorship which that refers to those person who named as authors merely because they hold senior position within the service or faculty where the research occur and here they may be helped securing funding so his name is also coming in times of authorship then surrogate authorship this present author presents or submit a work without give his own data or description or explanation but only citing the idea of the original author so gift guest and honorary authorship be treated as the best opportunistic in his writing published in nature and at worse scientific misconduct 